Right, what we've got here, this is Ed from Bristol Braille Technology and what we've got here is the Canute console and I'm just going to show off a very early version of the Canute replaying a football game. And what it's going to do here is using data which is openly available on the web which the Canute console can scroll through, pick the league or the cup it wants and then it can pick the game from that cup and by it, I mean of course you, the Braille user, and then it will replay that game, a series of highlights from the game, whatever that one is you pick, on an actual uh, physical tactile pitch including commentary on who's on the ball, where the ball is in the space, it's got the 18 yard box and so on. So just briefly I'll introduce the Canute console itself which is our latest product yet to be uh, fully released, but this is the sequel to Canute 360. So um, here we are, currently in its screensaver. We open it up like so. Okay, so uh, this is a device for doing computer science, but also for playing games on, and for um, and for being able to experience new uh, new experiences in a tactile form uh, for anyone who is blind and a braille reader. And this is just a little demo I knocked up uh, last week in order to, when we we're doing a demo for uh, Deafblind UK up in Peterborough. So I'm just going to run this program. And if you can uh, see in the video, there is a 13-inch uh, display, and then below it there is a 360-cell Braille display. And below that we've got our keyboard, which slides in and out. This whole thing runs off a of Raspberry Pi. Uh, and we're using it to teach people about computer programming but also just have a lot of fun. So what I'm doing is I'm running a program uh, just called Play360 uh, inside a, a directory called Association Football and now uh, we're generating the highlights because this is all done live, this isn't being hand coded, uh, this works for um, uh, for any, any match that's available using this data, I can link to the data we picked the Wales-England game from the World Cup last year. Uh, now what we've got here is a full nine lines giving the, the uh, starting 11 for Wales uh, with the goalkeeper at the top going towards the strikers towards the end. Uh, I'm going to skip over this but just to rem remind those of you who aren't familiar with this, this is the only uh, currently commercially available multi-line braille display that's the Canute 360 and what we've done here is we've mounted it in our new product, the Canute console, which adds all these extra features. So I'm skipping through and we're going to the England starting level. So the match is yet to start here. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to have a look and make sure that we're focusing on the braille itself here. Okay, now, on screen at the moment is the pitch on the braille display itself. What we've done is we've taken seven lines of the braille display and drawn a football pitch, uh, which is 120 yards by 80. And then we've got our 18-yard box on the left for Wales with the goal. And on the right, we've got the 18-yard box and the goal uh, for England. And then in the middle, we have our center point where the ball is at the moment, the ball represented by a lower G in braille. Now on the uh, visual display you have exactly the same thing represented uh, in uh, like for like in what's called computer braille. For those of you who aren't familiar um, it just means that some of these characters look a little curious so an apostrophe, we're using apostrophes to draw some of the line, the dotted lines um, for the 18 yard box just to make it clear that it's not the same as the goal. Okay now all I'm going to do now is just press any key, I'm going to press space, and we've kicked off. So um, that was a pass back to Davies for Wales. Uh, we're now in the third second, so it gives you, a right, it gives you the, the accurate to the second, it gives you the score. These are the top two lines, gives you the full, um, uh, the, the, the full commentary on what's happening right now. And then our ball has gone back, ah, and it's pass forward and it says here rice pass 
uh, recovery and it but it's gone out so rice that's rice for England keep going forward I'm gonna zoom out again okay now um, what's amazing here and this is literally just a couple hours it was suggested um, to me by uh, Roger Wilson Heinz actually whilst we were at him and uh, Margaret's house it was just this didn't exist a couple of days ago and all we had to do was have a Canute console and some data on the internet and we could start putting together the world's first and only tactile football pitch and you can not just run um, old games off this I'm just going to keep playing this the so Davies pass from a throw in so there's a throw in there uh, again it's still for Wales uh, and that's gone forward uh, it's near the halfway line now Ramsey's passed okay we're being passed back to Davies again uh, and then that's Foden for England uh, Aerial lost. So, what's amazing about this is that you that it doesn't just have to be an old game. This could be a current game if the data was being streamed live, or it could be generated from any uh, from a, a computer game. Um, you could play out fantasy football, or um, even follow along with a um, the game someone's playing on their computer. I mean, we're quite interested in being able to um, set your starting 11. So here we can see it's a dual cane for England. Aerial lost, still in the Welsh half. And just just to, to come back to this again, it, it's really kind of fun to be able to, um, to feel the way that the ball moves around. I'm just going to keep going forwards um, for now because I want to show off highlighting uh, where what we're doing here. Because if you'll notice that this is moving slower than a game would uh, because of the speed for, uh, of, that takes for Braille to display and then for you to read it. What we're doing is we've, we're skipping through um, some of the longer periods uh, and I believe there's going to be a, a skip at about uh, 20 seconds. Okay, so England have possession now, but it's still up on the, um, up in the top in the Welsh half. Kane's got it, he's passed, it's gone out. So it's a throw in. Oh, and there's Jewel. Um, falls back in the England half. Covered for England by Stones, who's passed it to. Oh no, it's been. Uh, and Padu for Jewel. Okay. Okay, so that was back in the England half, but and that was at one minute and eight seconds. And what, what we're now showing is just saying fast forwarding to highlights, uh, because we don't want to spend all day watching England kicking it backwards and forwards inside their own half. Uh, you can get that anytime. So now if we read the top line, it's taken us to 2 minutes and 50 seconds, and that's because um, for England Rice, I've watched this game a couple times, so that I believe there is going to be a pass inside the uh, is it a shot. Okay, well, it's been passed to Shaw, who is in the Welsh half. Rashford's up near the 18-yard box at 24 yards. He passes, it's incomplete. Williams blocks, 20 yards. And you can feel it's right here, just just underneath. I mean, that's that's quite special feeling that. Um, blocked by Bale, 18 yards, but uh, it's outside the box. And then it's clearance. And how far out we cleared? to Ramsey, so Ramsey's recovered. For Wales, he's passed it, but we're not out of the danger zone, still very deep in the Welsh half. England's blocked that pass. Henderson.
gets the ball back 33 yards. And that is the end of the excitement for that particular part of the game. So we're fast forwarding again. Uh, now we're at three minutes and five seconds, still in the Welsh half. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave it there. I just want to, to emphasize here that that's just something that we um, put together quite quickly to demonstrate the power of what you can do with uh, a Canute console and some ideas. Um, I, I, know a few, I know a few people who are uh, blind or deaf blind who are football fans and we're really looking forward to, uh, to trying this with everyone. Um, it's quite Moorish and it's quite exciting to, 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 to be able to watch the ball bounce around and, and um, I'd really love to plug this into some live, some, some, some live data, whether that's a live match or um, something generated by a video game. I think that would be really fun. Thank you, for, thank you very much.